afternoon or good morning, good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome to the show. Conversation with Sky Women. Women who have fallen victim to various kinds of online scams. And in some instances, they've not only lost millions in the process, but they've lost their dignity, they've lost their support system. And in many of the cases, these women have also been alienated from their families through their experience. If you're watching the show and you believe that you are immune, if you believe that these women were simply stupid, perhaps you'd like to listen to their stories. Don't go away. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the show. I am your host, Bridgetti Limbanda. Sky Woman is a nonprofit formed by Louise Haynes, who researched various forms of scams over the last three years. And one of its key focuses is education and empowerment. She discovered that the victims selected by the scammers are generally single women, they're middle aged, and very often they are business owners. The scam artists are professionals with a very thorough selection process. They have access to spyware, they disguise their accent, they use fake profiles and they steal the identities of others. They come across as very genuine, sincere and often, almost always, have a high profile profession. got a birthday in 2017 and uh, so he asked me what type of uh, gift he, he will receive and then I spent some money um, about uh, his uh, uh, birthday uh, present and uh, he sent uh, his uh, supervisor and some workers uh, which one came to me to pick up the, the gift uh, uh, and uh, he asked me if I have uh, cash uh, uh, money to give it to him because he wants to treat uh, uh, his workers, uh, 26 people and Rick uh, in the sea, uh, to treat them for his birthday. And so on, and then we continue this way. He's supposed to finish the contract uh, at, uh, that was fr from the beginning of June. He's supposed to finish his contract uh, at uh, the end of the year. I, he was thinking earlier, but that didn't happen because uh, two months before that, he started to say that uh, there is uh, some problem in the rig, uh, there is some uh, equipment which one was uh, uh, not working and he's supposed to uh, repair and he needs uh, funds to fix it, uh, that uh, uh, machinery is... Uh, and he needs uh, financial support. That was the beginning of big money to send to him. So, uh, and he promised that uh, once uh, in the two months time come uh, out from the rig uh, and he will get his payment, he will recover, uh, refund me with uh, the money. And I made uh, the first big payment and then uh, uh, became so the the uh, that the machinery must be uh, picked up from Island uh, from East London. He must travel Port Elizabeth. Sorry, he was traveling with his advisor, uh, supervisor together with uh, his car uh, to Port Elizabeth, and I must spend the money for uh, transport and for. Um, extra money that became time, uh, in the shop uh, from where he was uh, picking up uh, and the money asked because I was feeling that he is in a, a desperate need to, to fix the machinery and to be free of duty. So finally when came the, the time for payment it happened another story he was paid uh, uh, and uh, he 
uh, decide to send me 350,000 rent into my account. But you, but, so, did you, but did you see any of that money? I never received that money so because they started another story. So he sent me a slip as a transfer from his account to my account, but that was ATM uh, uh, slip. And uh, just as a proof that uh, he's trying to, but then his account was blocked as uh, um, money laundering. He but was accused. But, but that was a story, right? That wasn't, that was that, that wasn't true. I didn't know. I don't know how the banks are working when you uh, 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 in a game of money laundering because I never been uh, do that things and uh, so the the account was blocked uh, freezing to recover his account was a story to pay for license to pay for clearance to pay for uh, uh, internet. Uh, United Nations for because he's coming from England Barclay uh, Bank must be uh, convert his money into uh, uh, Absa Bank uh, in uh, um, South Africa especially in George and he started to pretend that he needs for such a verification for another uh, confirmation and so on and the money were growing and growing that is the last time that is the last time and I'm paying and paying and in the end of the day I finish all my sources of uh, money and I uh, uh, borrow money from one of my partners and I became in debt uh, and it's not uh, 10 to uh, thousand rent that's a, a lots of money lot and of money. Uh, finally we moved, uh, uh, we sold uh, my son's flat in Cape Town and we moved to Bulgaria because my husband latest was in a very um, uh, bad uh, health condition and uh, as, the, as we moved here he continued to ask me for more and more till today Right. Till today, so he, he is trying stopped. to contact me. So he hasn't stopped. No, so so what I am, uh, I, I want to tell you the 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 people who are involved in that scam, romantic and whatever doing, telling they are creating such a give me first and then I will get you, but you must first give. They are very clever to create such a circumstances, such a conditions of their life that they are in a desperate need, that their life depends from your support. If you don't, they will die. If you don't, they will be in prison or something else. And you are just, because I am with a good heart and, and uh, I can't see people suffering around me. Okay. And if I have, I'm prepared to share so let let me just recap. Um, I want to recap because um, earlier my sound wasn't working. We had a bit of a technical glitch. So welcome to the show again, everyone. This is episode eight of the conversation with Sky Women. We've been talking to women who have been scammed online, and in this instance, this type of scamming is referred to as romance scams. Um, this is being investigated by um, police in, in various countries. I know the FBI is involved. They've made various arrests, mainly of men from Nigeria and in Nigeria. These women have lost millions. They've lost their dignity. They've lost any type of security that they've had. They've lost their support system. They've lost their families. Um, and so it's been particularly difficult for these women. So today the, the story we're sharing is Vaska's story. Vaska is based in Bulgaria. This happens to women all over the world. It happens everywhere. Um, so I have just been told by Tish that I need to turn my volume up a little bit. So let me see if I can if I can do that. Tish, just let me know if you can hear me um, better now. Give me one second. Let me 
see if I can adjust my microphone um, volume. Um, let's just see if I'm able to do that. Tell me if it's any better now, please, because I think I've raised it as much as I possibly can. Randy is similar with all women, wherever they may be. First of all, it's mainly women who are middle-aged. So these men know that these women are well-established in life and that generally most middle-aged women have access to, um, to money. If not their own money, they may, have, they may be well-connected. Um, Vasca, like most other women, are um, educated. So they've got their own business. Um, Vasca has got two degrees. She's been in business for a long time. And what had happened to her is, like with all other women, the one thing they have in common is that they've had some sort of tragedy or they're lonely and these men prey on, prey on them. Um, what you need to know is that these men are sophisticated this is a sophisticated ring this is not just someone that decided to go out and scam women randomly these men are trained they use sophisticated methods to scam women there's a formula that they employ to scam these women and generally they befriend the women for a period of three to four months then they start asking for money they describe desperate situations that they're in it's usually some form of life or death um, situation and by this time the woman is emotionally invested in the relationship and um, they will ask for money and after about the second or the third time they will start blackmailing these women into um, giving them more and more money. They will come up with grandiose schemes. They will declare their love um, to these women and literally blackmail them until these women not only lose what they have, but until they've exhausted every single form of finding money to help them. And this is basically the situation that Vasca found herself into as well. So not only is she out of all her savings, um, she now also owes other people money that she borrowed from to help this man because she believed his story. Vasca, what would you like to say to other people that are watching this story now? How would you like to warn them? So uh, if they don't have ch chance to meet them personally, to not trust them at all. First of all, if somebody really pretending that he he loves you, he will offer prepare to offer you forever life together. So make he to come to see you. If he doesn't come, don't trust. Because that is only words. That is only words that he is crossing his heart, he is uh, willing to be with you, doesn't matter how old are you, doesn't matter the difference uh, uh, in the age, doesn't matter what uh, you uh, have, that's the main thing, he to put you down, down, down. And they use advantage, and you too, be, because you are feeling very, very silly, once you give, uh, give it to him a hell of money, and it's concerned only a few thousand, you are g again prepared to give, to get maybe your money back, but don't trust that it's going to be happen. So what happened with me? So I finally uh, made many times more and more after he um, was crossing uh, his heart and saying that uh, that's the last time, please help. That's the last time, please help. And I'm giving and giving. But... So I realized that is not the last time, and it, at least I closed down. He is phoning me, he is uh, uh, sending me uh, WhatsApp messages, but I don't respond anymore. What I uh, I the right place that will be my award, to, and to prevent another ladies to be not involved anymore in such a story. Uh, romantic or whatever story because that is not true 
So that's a very important point that you raised there, Vasco. Um, these guys will promise you once you once they've got your money, they will promise you heaven and earth to pay back the money. In reality, yes. the truth is you are not going to see a cent back of that money. It is gone forever. And they will try and string you along to make you believe that you're going to get the money back. And in, you know, you will try everything. So in your attempt to get your money back that you've lost, you will keep giving, hoping that you will get mm -hmm. your money back. But the truth right. is, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. The money that you've already sent is never going to come back to you. So once you realize, once you get that feeling in your gut that you've been scammed, you actually, at that point, you need to stop. Yes. You must stop sending money because it's not going to come back no matter what they tell you, no matter what they promise you that money is never going to be returned. So you have to, once you've established that you've been scammed, at that point, stop. Do not yes. engage with them. And yes, if, correct. And they're feeling uh, jealous and they're starting to accuse you that you don't want to help you him because uh, maybe you have another uh, lover, maybe something like so. Many, many another stories they add uh, just to push you. If you uh, don't uh, have money, please find, please ask uh, some friends, please ask uh, some colleagues or some partners. Uh, but they don't care about that you are going in the uh, depths uh, with the money to pay that money, not he. And uh, don't trust, please. Uh, that is the main thing for you to cross the line and say, enough, it's enough. I lost it, that money, but no more. Because if you think I lost it, say about 500,000 uh, rent, and if I pay another 5,000, it's nothing, then if I refund that money. And that make you to feeling that, hey, 500 comparing with five, it's a quite big amount of money. Let's to try another time. And that keep you on and on. So, but you have to stop. Otherwise, if you're not stop, in the end of the day, I don't know what happened. I'm very, very appreciate that I have a son next to me, which one now everything about that story. And he's giving me a very, very strong support. That is absolutely wonderful because that is a big problem that I've seen with so many of the women that have shared their stories so far. They lose every single form of support. And again, I want to let the audience know that the women like Vasca have been groomed very carefully, as Louise pointed out there. These women um, have been played. They get played and groomed very carefully by these scammers. They've got methods that they use um, and that they, that they use to trap these women. It's a psychological warfare that's being played against women. So just know, you know, the first, your first instinct is to say, how could you be that stupid? It's not that the women are stupid. Most of these women that get scammed, and it's not just women, it's men as well, are educated people. But yeah. the scammers, the scammers are indeed clever people. They use methods that have been tried and tested again and again and again, over and over and over. So you need to be very, very careful. So one of the things that they do is that they put you into a situation where you are isolated, where they, they put you in a situation where you question the loyalty and trust of your family and friends. They mm -hmm. turn themselves into becoming your confidant. So when someone tries to isolate you, um, do not allow to be isolated. Do not allow yourself to be isolated. Ask a friend yeah. to look at your correspondence. The moment you get a gut feeling that something feels off, trust your gut. Ask someone to look at the correspondence that you've had with this person. Do not send money to anyone who asks you for money online. No matter yeah. what the story sounds like, because they come with grandiose 
stories. It's always a matter of life and death. It's always, if you don't send me the money, I'm going to die. My child's going to die. Yep. And if they won't appear on camera, that is a red flag. If they tell you that, that their camera or their phone is broken, um, it's a red flag. It never is true. Do not believe those stories. Right, Vasca? Yes, that's correct. And I want to tell also, uh, I still remember uh, my friends uh, from South Africa uh, who sponsored us uh, uh, and supported us. Once we decided in the beginning, we still didn't have uh, uh, settled enough in, the, in South Africa and wanted to buy something uh, like a shop. And we went to ask them for financial support what they said to us the banks are money giving not the private person so if somebody asks you for money send him to the bank so because bank has authorities and opportunities to check and see this guy what type of guy it is and what backup he's got to be paid that money back we, as a private person, this is a gift which one we're giving to them, not a loan, not support. This is a just giving them as a gift. That's the way how they accept it. Because they take the money and disappear. Or if they still keep until the day, they can still get some more. Yeah. So you're, you're never, ever going to see that money back, you know. So, so, so rather don't start something if you're not 100% sure. Um, ask. Always, always, always ask. They want to isolate you. That's part of their yeah. modus operandi is to isolate you from people that you within your trust circle. That's the first yeah. thing that they do. They isolate you. So do not, anyone who tries to isolate you, it's a red flag, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and do not trust this grandeur story. In the minute somebody um, declares their love for you very, very quickly online, it's also a red flag. And, and they, they are going to target you because you've posted something online to let them know that you are in a vulnerable situation, like you've lost someone uh, in your that was significant in your life, you know, whether it's a child or a spouse, and they will use that information to play on your heartstrings. Be very, very, very careful. Yeah, thank you. That's true. That's true. We have to be very, very careful because uh, there's so many uh, another uh, people also approach it to me. But um, once I see that they ask for money, I just stop to conversate with them. And different stories. Everybody has different stories. He is a big businessman. He has got a stock or he's got something uh, where to deliver. But once the, he arrived there, they need uh, some uh, uh, custody, some uh, 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 customer's uh, fees to be paid, and he doesn't have that money at the moment, and so we have to support him. Many stories. Another is in a car accident, he's in the hospital, and he do doesn't have uh, money to pay his treatment, and uh, the doctor is talking to you, and he's asking you to support, because otherwise, if they don't start the treatment, he will be uh, very, uh, very badly his health. Uh, so, different, different stories, you name it. Just must be careful to not trust anybody. If he doesn't have enough money to come personally, face to face, to say, I love you, I want you forever, and so on and on, don't trust. That's for me. Absolutely. So just be very, very careful. Always double check information. And the other thing that they often do is that they will use, and we spoke, we had an interview with um, an ex-military person in the U.S. 
maybe two, three weeks ago. The other thing that they do is they almost never use their own image. They will use a stolen image. So if somebody puts mm -hmm. up a picture and they send you these beautiful pictures of someone, especially if it's someone in a military, um, they're usually someone in the military or they're an engineer and they work on oil rigs. Those are the usual stories. Go and check yeah. up the, you know, take the photograph and make sure that it's not a stolen photograph because it, it's, in a hundred percent of the cases, it always is. It's a stolen photograph that they have lifted off the internet. And in this case, they're not only causing untold damage to the scam victim, they're also causing untold damage to the person whose image they have stolen have online. Yeah. So always do a reverse image. It's so easy to do on, on, on Google. Check out the photograph, see who else is using that photograph, and you will almost in a hundred percent of the cases discover it's a stolen photograph, it's not the person. Real, yeah, you can imagine, yeah. So, to, how long time uh, 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 prolonged my story since 2017? We are now 2019. Can you imagine? And he still have a power and face to ask me for more and more money. That's impossible. And he does, you know, the, these guys are relentless. So as in your instance now, it's been so many years and he still does not stop. So you need to know that if you say to this person, no, they're not going to stop because you said no. They will continue. <clears throat> they're trying to find another way. He is sick now, he doesn't have money for food, he doesn't have money where to stay, for accommodation, so you want to give up from him, so accuse you in many, many different things, but he doesn't want to say, I am not the same person, no. Yeah. Absolutely. So. I want to thank everyone who's joined us today. Thank you for watching this um, episode. Please uh, share it because there are millions, literally millions of people who get scammed, men and women. It doesn't matter what your social standing is, doesn't matter what your educational background is. Um, we have had, you know, there are doctors that get scammed. There are attorneys who get scammed. It, is, mm -hmm. it literally is anybody and everybody. Yes. So, you know, please be aware that it is so easy. And it's because these scammers are prof they professional scammers. It's not just somebody who randomly decided to do this. They, they're part of a, a trained network of scammers yeah. that work globally. Please, please, please be very, very careful. Vasca, thank you for sharing your story. It's my pleasure. The, that's the, the way how we can help each other to prevent from further involvement in such a scam story. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, and again, be careful out there. Thank you. All the best for everybody. Thank you.